Their last meeting ended with a second round disqualification and resulted in nearly a decade of bad blood over some unfinished business. Tonight, we'll finish it here inside the glory ring. at Glory 11 in Chicago, and he's set to make his 10th Glory start. Here is Hesdy Gerges. can win tonight, but the fighter himself believes his victory is a foregone conclusion, saying, I've never been more confident about a fight in my life. I've already beaten Potter tonight. They just have to announce my name. kickboxers of all time. He is a massive favorite tonight, minus 470. He's expected to win. His fans expect him to win by knockout. Here is our tale of the tape for this, our main event. Badr Hari, 33 years old, and he'll hold a four and a half inch reach advantage over the taller and heavier Esty Gerges. When it comes to professional experience, there's a massive 119 fights for Badr Hari, 70 for Hesdy Gerges, but what makes Badr so ferocious is that 87% knockout ratio. Fight metrics, ladies and gentlemen. The average fight time for Badr Hari, not very long. Four and a half minutes, roughly. And look at those power strikes landed. He's extremely accurate, accurate, 79%. Now with the judges scoring, 
using the following prioritized criteria, starting with knockdowns, followed by cumulative damage inflicted, followed by number of clean scoring strikes with an emphasis on spectacular techniques. Finally, if there's no clear advantage, judges are looking for aggression. Open scoring tonight. Five judges will score it on a 10-point must system. The scores will be shown after each round, so we know exactly where we stand. Now let's take a look at my keys to glory for this fight. And for Bader, he really needs to control the range and the pace of the fight, and he's going to do that using his jab. And when he's ready, he's going to look for that timing to unload his vicious power combinations. Where Hezdi Gerges wants to use that pressure style, try to keep Bader at the, against the ropes as much as he can, and look to land his ferocious low kicks. Your main event of the evening, three rounds in Glory's heavyweight division, and a rematch eight years in the making. This bout sanctioned by the International Sport Kickboxing Association. At the opening bell, your referee is Atsushi Onari. From Rotterdam to Reno, combat sport fans are tuned in around the world. It's time for Glory! Introducing first, fighting out of the white corner. He is a WFCA world and European champion. His professional record, 50 wins, 19 losses, and one draw. 23 of those wins by knockout. He stands six feet, seven inches tall, a full two meters, and he weighed in with an official weight of 245 and one half pounds, 111.4 kilos. Fighting out of the Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, Hesdy Fighterheart Gerges! Here now is his opponent, fighting out of the black corner, a former heavyweight world champion and two-time World Grand Prix runner-up. His professional record, 106 wins, 13 losses, and 92 career knockouts. He stands six feet, six inches tall, 1.98 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 224 and one half pounds, 101.8 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Morocco. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Bada Hari. And your referee in charge is at Sushi Onare. Oh, this is glory rule. Three minutes, three rounds, okay? No cringing. Right, good fight. Can Hesti Gerges shock the kickboxing world and send this sold out crown home stunned? Or will Bader Hari be the human wrecking machine that has made him a worldwide phenom? Here we go, three rounds in the heavyweight division. A long wait for Gerges to get this fight back. Bader starting with that jab, he mixed in good body kicking. Bader Hari nearly 30 pounds lighter than we last saw him against Rico. He says he's quicker, he's stronger, and he's in better condition. Yeah, and you're already you're seeing his kicks flying, which is very impressive because Bader's got some vicious low kicks and left kicks. But Gerges is really known for his low kicks, and we're going to have to see that fighter heart in him. Gerges biding his time here, hasn't let loose yet. He promised to put Bader through hell tonight. Gerges staying patient. Doesn't want to overcommit and open up. Right now, it's target practice for Bader Hart. Yeah, he's just picking his jab, using his body kicks. But maybe Gerges is trying to weather the early storm, try to take Bader in the later rounds. Nice counter low kick from Gerges. If there's one area that Gerges has the advantage, it has to be low kicks. Nice close range defense from Hesdy. Jab of Botter's gonna keep coming over and over. Finally, Gerges throws a punch. 
halfway through round one. No fireworks yet. Jab to the body there from Curtis. Yeah, Curtis right is hand. switching stances, something we really don't see with him. That could be something that the change in Moosey Jim is working with him. Former coach Tom Harris, one of the best to bring kickboxing to Holland. Still approved of Hesdy changing camps. Best trainers in the business, Big Mike, multiple world champions over the years. Now Hesty unloading on Botter, who's covering up in the corner. And there's a low kick, and that got Botter's attention. Yeah, change levels with his punches, finished with the low kick. Botter back to that body kick. See the redness building up on Gerges. That step forward right hand to the body is something perhaps that Gerges has been working on in training. It's definitely something really new. Nice heel kick from Botter. Yeah, he's really known for that. He had some vicious knockouts with that spinning heel kick, which made him popular in the when he was 19 in K1. An uppercut snuck through for Bader Hari, and it reddened the nose of Hesty Gerges. Another heel kick. Yeah, and he's switching stances too. There's that pressure style that Gerges needs. Keep Bader against the ropes. Oh, again, a low kick, and Bader stumbling back across the ring. Yeah, very interesting round. A lot, I think Hesdy Gerges did a lot better that round than most people expected. And here it's Hesdy Gerges pressuring most of this round. There's that change in his stance. And then Botter staying really protected, and he's keeping his left leg up because he knows Gerges is going to finish that punch combination with the low kick. But, and here's Botter. Mixing in that spinning heel kick that made him so popular when he was younger. Not only did he throw it from his right stance, he even turned southpaw and threw a spin kick from that southpaw position. What did what did that last low kick tell you as Potter went spinning back to the ropes? Sorry, Joey. Sorry, Joey, you had to hear me. I said, what did that last low kick from uh, Hesty Gerges that sent Potter sprawling back to the road. Yeah, what did it, that tell you? It did a lot of damage. It means they're adding up. It means that Hesty Gerges needs to keep going there, Stick and Potter's got to do a better job at defending it. Lady, lady, fight! Round two, scheduled for three. Potter's really trying to attack the body, whether with its body kicks or body punches. That's because Gerges has that high guard. Elbows up a little higher, leaving his body open, but great pressure fighting from Hesdy. Not good body language from Potter right now. Hesdy Gerges said he would force Potter Hari to quit. He would hey. maul him. And look at the smile on Gerges' face. Don't count Potter out. There's a low kick again that sends Botter off balance. That's when Gerges is landing that kick the best. As Botter exit, Gerges lands that low kick. Botter calling him on. Botter waving Hesty in. And Hesty says, no thanks. I'll just keep punching you and kicking you from out here. Wait. Botter's staying really defensive. Is he trying to gas Gerges out? Nice rip to the body. We told you to be open scoring for this fight. There has been a change. I'm not sure if it's a technical problem or what, but there will not be open scoring for this particular bout. Body kick from Botter. This crowd waiting for Botter to land that one big shot. Nice uppercut attempt. A couple of punches landed by Botter. I think Gerges was complaining of his mouthpiece coming out. Yeah, he spit it out, but, you know, Botter took advantage of that because it looked like Gerges spit it out on his own. Wait! Gerges needs to make sure he defends himself at all times. Still waiting for those non-stop flurries from Botter, where he usually opens up and throws five, six punch combinations. Right now, he's really staying shelled up and really ripping shots to the body and uppercuts. 
Gerges is really slowing down. Hasn't thrown that low kick much. He just did there, but good check from Botter. Keep in mind, oh, there's an uppercut. Botter Hari's only had one fight in the last two and a half years. Tyson! Has these mouth guard out again. I believe this is a stalling tactic. Uh, it could be. He is fatiguing. I feel it should be mandatory for all fighters to have a custom mouth guard. They should snap no, in and not come okay. up. Okay. One goes on. One goes on. Fight! Jab from Potter. Potter relying on that uppercut. It's landed a few times. Seems to be his money shot. Stairs goes Bonner. Some thudding blows to the midsection. Another spinning heel kick. Hey! Yeah, Bonner's going to that body. Rips the body, then mixes the uppercut. Well, Bonner can't be all that fatigued if he's trying spinning heel kicks with a few seconds left in the round. No, he's found his energy. Maybe this is what the lighter weight is doing. It. It's allowing him to, to keep this pace for longer. Let's see what happened with that mouth guard coming out. That came out way too easy. Botter still landed a punch. And then the second time, let's see. There's the uppercut. Botter smiles and it shot out. Yeah, it's very interesting why it's coming out so quick. It doesn't even look molded. Typically, do fighters wear the same mouthpiece they use in sparring for fights? A lot of guys do, and a lot of them even use the cheap mouth guards you buy, but this is your health. This is your Single teeth, down. your brain health, so Single invest down. in a good mouth guard. Okay, this is the sound, okay? Make of that what you will. This is the Hi. third and final round in a very close fight between Bader Hari in the black gloves and Hesti Gerges in the white. That second round was a lot better for Bader. He needs to keep that pace, the body shots, keep those body kicks going. Hesti needs to find some energy. Try to pressure fight again. It's, it's Bader backing him up against the ropes now. Bader downstairs again. Waves Gerges in. Really liking that right shovel hook to the body. He's sitting down on his punches now as Potter Hart. There's a knee. Downstairs again. I'm just waiting for that Potter uppercut to fly. Stop! Hey! What Hesley was doing best was try to push Potter back and then land those low kicks, but I don't think Hesley has the energy to do that. And it's Bader Hari pressure fighting now. Stop. Knees to the body, punches to the body. Hey. You know, Rico Verhoeven's at home taking notes right now. High kick from Hesti Gerges. Hesti finding some energy, not too much power. This Stop. fight seemingly still up for grabs here with Wait. a minute 35 to go. Hey. Well, if you give Hesney round one, Botter round two, it's going to come to three. A low kick there from Botter, and then he goes upstairs. Then downstairs. Yeah, really relying on that hard right, right hook to the body. Botter has been more active in round three for sure. Another knee. Blood pouring out of the nose now of Hesti Gerges. This crowd urging Botter on. They want the knockout. There's that uppercut. Oh, the right hand, right over the ear. Another knee to the body. minute to go here. Hey! Gerges looking up at the clock. Fatigue is certainly a factor. Botter seems to be much fresher. Hey! A leg kick 
sends hey. Gerges down. Hey. Not a knockdown, though. No. Yeah. Gerges looked like he was trying to do a spin kick, and Bader didn't have it. Just attacked the legs right away. performance Potter was looking for, but it might be the result. As for Gerges, he vowed to win this fight, thought it was over before he started. Put on a pretty good display, Joe, but who do you think got the job done? Well, I think Potter got it done. First round could have easily gone to Gerges, but rounds two and three was Potter Hari picking it up, so um, I can give it two to one for Potter. We'll find out. The official decision from Rotterdam headed your way when we return. We're back here at the Rotterdam Ahoy Arena, jumping to some highlights from Bader Hari and Hesti Gerges. Yeah, round one was the, the best round for Gerges. Did a good job coming forward, pressure fighting, finding his low kick. Bader a few times trying that spinning back kick, but there you go. Hesti Gerges and his low kicks in round one did a lot of good damage. Round two, we saw Gerges' mouth guard come out two times, but Bader st started to find his groove. He started ripping those good body punches and really stayed close and became the pressure fighter in the third round. Landed a good uppercut in right hand, really finishing off the third round really strong and really showing that, you know what, he still has that pace to go three rounds. Here's our strikes by round. Bader Hari in the first and third landed more. And it was Hesti Gerges in round two, slight edge 35-32. Looking at the punches, you have uh, Bader dominating with the punch count, uh, landing 68 to the 47 of Gerges. Kicks more towards uh, Hesdi Gerges with the low kicks. Total strikes, um, edge to Gerges. Uh, sorry, total strikes landed, went for Bader, but total strikes thrown was Hesdi Gerges. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event of the evening goes the distance. So we go to the judge's scorecard. Here are the totals. One judge scores the bout 29-28. The four remaining judges all have it 30-27. A unanimous decision, all for your winner. the winner, Bader Hari. Bader, describe your performance tonight. Morocco! Yeah! I love you. Uh, the Netherlands, I love you. Italy, I love you. Puerto Rico, I love you. America, I love you. But I love Morocco the most. France, I like France also. <laughs> no, my, you know, this is a fight we've been waiting for a long time. So uh, I was burned, like a lot of people know, like I don't lose rematches, my friend. I'm 9-1 in all the fighters I fight for the second time. If you give me a second chance, I beat you up. But let me say, as he did a good job, He's one of the toughest fighters, walking around in glory. He's no easy guy. He got a big heart, but tonight my heart was bigger. So, you, you win some and you lose some. But I respect him a lot and I'm happy. We've been waiting for this fight for like eight years. We were youngsters and uh, we came back. I came back in shape. He came back a little bit heavy. But he did a good job. I want to thank Glory for giving me the opportunity to be back and to be part of a family. And I think this is the best fighting sports in the world. You know, I like boxing. I like boxing, but I like Glory more. I like MMA. But I like Glory more. I think we're the number one fighting sports in the business. So, I think uh, 
There's another rematch coming up, I think. You know, you didn't you didn't promise to knock Hesty Gergis out, but after your last fight with Rico, you said, I will fight you again, and I will knock you out. You still believe that? Yeah, of course. Listen, we fought Hesty. We know it's gonna be, uh, it's, gonna, it's not gonna be an easy fight. I don't know a lot of fighters who knocked Hesdy out. You know, he got a couple, but he's a hard, tough guy. But uh, the main goal, like I said, in the interviews, I wanna take off some ring rust. You know, I didn't been in the ring for a couple of times, so I needed these rounds. So for me, it was, full, uh, you know, I wanna make three rounds. And this guy, he really, and now he's a good guy, but before he really annoyed me. It was like I gotta make him quit, and it only make me hungry. And you know, Musi is training, he knows me very well. I'm a tough kid. I'm from the streets. I don't take shit, and I don't give up. If I give up, it's because I cannot fight. But today, I'm ga I guessed him out. He was tired, I saw it in him. He didn't train hard enough for me. Well, we, we know Rico's watching at home right now. What's your message to him? after this victory? I don't have to give him a message. The fight was a message. You know, people always concern about my condition and about my physique. I think today I showed everybody nothing wrong with my condition, my friend. Nothing wrong with my physique. I'm strong and, I sit and I'm fit, I'm lean. I take off my weight. You know, I weigh like 100, 112. It was brother's best weight, so I, I dropped down, I wanna think. Yusuf Nasiri, he's one of my new fitness coach. He did, a, he did an amazing job. He brought me back in shape, I wanna thank him. I got some friends, you know, they, they're watching. Hamza, Zakaria, they're from the Qur'an Sla. Thank you, they was, they rated. They're, they're some good guys. The Qur'an Sla, Hamza, Zakaria, shukran. They helped me a lot. My father, Al Hajj, Allah Hafdak. Al Walid Ajali from Mecca, Al Hafdak. Al uh, Maghreb. Let me speak to my Moroccan fans in Morocco. Well, what on? To my Zazaria. At Chikushala Raya. Oh, like a Likum Lia. Oh, like a Lili Likum. Shukran. Yes, Tan. Congratulations, Potter Hari, everybody. Quickly, a quick word with uh, Hesti Gurgis. Hesti, I know how confident you were coming into this fight. What happened? I don't know, uh, from, from the second round I start to get tired. You know, in the, in the beginning it's all about to hyper fight, about trash talk, but in the end, there were two legends who fighting till the end, and that was the people want to see, you know? So, uh, I think a trilogy will be nice. <laughs> all right, Hesse, congratulations on a great performance tonight. Hope to see you soon. Hope to see you also soon. Yes. Congra congratulations to Badr Hari, now 10 and 1 against opponents he has lost to. And I feel this was a good fight for Badr. And to see him go three rounds, I think he needed himself personally. He was saying how the cut um, in his weight and his strength and conditioning played a good factor. So we saw a lot more good output from Badr Hari. But we saw that fighter hard in Hesdi Gurgis, especially in that first round. But again, Badr Hari's conditioning seemed good and was able to pick it up in the second and the third round. Well, Joe, I asked Badr what his message was to Rico tonight. He didn't really have one. He said, my performance speaks for itself. 